Hey guys, a lot of you want to know where, you know, is MTG Line as a channel profitable? Why are we not profitable? So first of all, answer no, we are not profitable. Is Patreon profitable? No, we're not profitable on Patreon. We're not profitable on YouTube. And the main reason, uh, the main answer to that question that some of you have of why that's, you know, some of you think I'm making a lot of money and, you know, we're just swimming in magic cards all the time. But those are from my own money. Uh, I've never really gained anything from YouTube or Patreon. I'm not sponsored. I'm not on a network. And those are, I mean, I have a lot of sponsorships, offers, and I have a ton of network offers, and they're pretty much like stalkers, and they keep emailing you, or you don't email them back. I just don't want that because this is a hobby to me, and that is a hobby. But now, along the lines, we do get some YouTube money. Patreon, for the most part, is negative just from Patreon, mainly because uh, shipping as well as the fact that we're giving out um, stuff of, you know, last next month it looks like we're doing two booster boxes so my patreon doesn't collect as much as money as some of the other bigger channels but because the patreon's different it's more of like hey i want to open stuff for you guys uh we had one booster box this time and four fat packs one of them which is going to be given away at random to a patreon tokens we have tokens we have play mats we have uh oh well also getting play mats which will uh, go into my next conversation. Where does all the money of this channel go? So first of all, we don't get that much money. Um, we, Patreon does not give us money at all. Patreon's a break even, if not a loss. If you consider that they have exclusive play mats and artwork and stuff like that. If you put the artwork and counting wise, you put it on the Patreons, then they are definitely negative. I commission a lot of magic artists. Um, I like it. I have paid. Uh, who does the uh, and how posters for uh, Mommy's done? I have Kyoko. I've never watched that anime before, but I felt like, oh, cool, there's five of them and there's five planeswalkers I want to do. I feel like Blake is the next one. No, oh, that's RWBY. <laughs> okay, so I have RWBY set too. Uh, um, what is that? Pure Madoka? No, it's called Madoka Magica. I've never watched, I've watched a movie for like half an hour of my. Um, girlfriend and she loved it i didn't know what was going on because the little cute animal who i felt was like awesome like carabaris i was like oh cool carabaris and then like i'm not going to say it but something happens to carabaris and it's just like oh dude his name is even like carabaris it's like kyoko something like i don't know i watched it and then started just playing video games and then my girlfriend finished watching it and she loved it and then she wanted to commission this set so we're not we spend a lot of money on artists. So we commission altars, which I'll have my beautiful altars. I'll just like scream, do, 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 do. And we commission play mats. Like this stuff is like not cheap. Like it is not cheap because we pay it monthly or we pay whenever the artist. We have two people who create altars for us. And you might be like, oh, well that's for you, right? I just, uh, we had issues with uh, the previous altar um, person I was uh, doing for the channel. No, I give altars away. Like you can go on the videos on this channel and you can see, oh, hey, there's altar contests. And then there was a previous issue of like whatever. And then, it, you know, I had to find a new one or, but my new one's really good. And she creates like all this stuff. Uh, play mats, I've always wanted a play mat, but I didn't want to sell the play mat. So I've asked my patrons and they can either say yes or no. And I'm not going to pressure them and you shouldn't pressure them either uh, to make the artwork. So the artwork, all pieces of artwork will eventually be available to the patrons, but they have screen savers. They have um, the PSD of the actual file layer and line. So they can change edits. They can make edits on it. They can move the line around. They can move file layer around. They can make, you know, a play mat. Um, and by the way, I printed uh, three different play, three of these same play mats. File and Lion, I'm thinking about keeping one, giving one away for this channel, and then giving one away for the Patreons next month is. But I don't know. I have to see what the quality is, and now obviously do a review of that. So yeah, when you're paying like three different altars, one person to do custom play mats for you, like draw play mats, which I haven't given any of them away because they've just been so beautiful. Like they're not cheap, by the way. Do digital art for play mats. Do you know channel banners and stuff of that nature? Um, yeah, it's like super pricey. And I was going to hire someone. Um, I was actually, and if you follow me on Facebook, I was trying to hire someone, 
And before you guys say like, oh, what does your girlfriend look like? Well, I think I posted a picture of her on Facebook and she was going to make uh, magic videos and it just never happened because it just never happened. And she just, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, um, what was I ranting about right now? Oh yeah, yeah. So all the money is, first of all, there's not much money. There's not much money to begin with. So when you hire someone to make a play mat for you, when you hire, I'm not going to disclose how much money, but, um, oh, I guess I'll disclose the play mat. Um, the file in line was $80 as is, and I was supposed to pay more money for like another play mat, but the file in line isn't done in my opinion. Essentially, I asked for the sword to be Saber, and that wasn't done, so then we just pay $80. So $80 for unfinished, in my opinion, Finally, it looks great. Unfinished piece of artwork that I have to pay my own money to get playmats for. So that's that's fine. I don't care. Um, Paige does really good work. I love Paige's work, uh, but it's kind of sporadic. So it really is not like I can expect, oh, I can change my channel into Paige's channel. I kind of have to just roll with the punches and that's perfectly fine. That's I trust her enough and that's our uh, relationship together is that she makes you know these really amazing pieces of artwork but it's not uh it's kind of sporadic and she's very busy and i'd rather have her focus on her life than create artwork really if those and i've told her this as well because i don't know if you guys know this i'm a very i'm not like super well known for graphic design but i'm pretty well known for uh, other stuff in marketing so i have worked with graphic designers and i have hired graphic designers as well so pretty much all the money from YouTube, all we don't have any extra money from Patreon, unfortunately. Um, all the money from YouTube goes straight into artwork for the channel or altars, which eventually, I, I, now I have altars, I can give them away now. It's like kind of difficult to give away an altar that you don't have. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where all the money goes. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.